Hello folks, welcome to Yadabellis TV. This is an abbreviated version of our normal video. Just wanted to show you my impromptu Thanksgiving turkey. I had a turkey in my refrigerator for in my freezer for quite some time um, from last year. And you know, with all the lockdown and all the, the other um, issues that are affecting us, it just did not felt, feel like Thanksgiving. But um, at the last minute on Wednesday, I just decided to take it out of the refrigerator or the freezer and just put some, put it in a bucket of water and tie it out. And so Wednesday in the afternoon, I seasoned it up and the seasoning was, was very basic. I used jerk seasoning, Jamaican jerk seasoning. I, you know, formulated my own. Um, I could, I could highlight some of what I used and seasoned it up and put it in the fridge until this morning i got up early this morning being thanksgiving morning if you're watching this on thanksgiving day um and and just put it in the in the oven so i just wanted to show you a little bit of video clips a little bit of still stills that i had and then we see what happens afterwards all right so without further ado here is my impromptu jerk turkey I should say jerk. Should I say jerk? Jerk turkey done for Thanksgiving. And I, I'm going to really put impromptu because this wasn't a planned thing. And that's why I did not want to go live or I didn't want to do anything further. Because we didn't, we don't even have nothing to eat the, the, the turkey with. To be honest with you guys. But guess what? At the end of the day, we have a lot to be grateful for, to be thankful for. And even in the midst of all that's happening, God has spared our lives and God is still providing for us. And so, guys, I just want to encourage you, whatever your state may be right now, just put God in the vessel. Because with God in the vessel, you can smile at the storm. All right, here is the pictures and the video. I'm going to do a voiceover and, yes, yeah, so forth and so on. Yada Belly TV. So after cleaning and washing my turkey, I made a slurry with a little bit of jerk seasoning and added my own different embellishments to it to make a beautiful, beautiful glaze and rub rather that I rubbed all over my chicken. I stuffed the belly with some apples and onions and pimento seeds and peppers and then I laid my, my turkey on a bed of potatoes with chocho and carrots. I put it in the oven for about four to five hours I covered it for more than half of the way and at the last minute I took it off and took it out and took the covers off and this is the end result normally ladies and gentlemen I would throw off the water and all of that but in this case I just couldn't bother the turkey neck was there and I allowed it to stew in the juices the potatoes and the carrots and all of that I allowed them to stew in the juices and then I took the same pan liquid and glazed my turkey over and over until it became this nice, rich, deep, beautiful color. Guys, I had no expectations, no great expectations for this one, but it turned out pretty well. And so it was an awesome, awesome, awesome um, thing. I'm going to cut it up in a few and uh, you know a friend of mine is gonna come over and i'm gonna give her some of that and whoever else whatever else happened happened because as i said there was no great expectation it is good sometimes when you can just turn your hand make fashion and utilize it to the best of your ability look on it i threw off some of the pan water and i saved it because all of that is stuck so i'm not gonna throw it out and then i just present it this way it look good done guys in all that's happening it is a great thing when you can just be creative and just make yourself comfortable while being alone at home yeah 
to all my families and friends, to all my subscribers, to everybody that pay attention to Yada Belly TV. I'm taking this opportunity to say happy Thanksgiving to you and Merry Christmas when it comes. Remember, God is the reason that we're alive today, so we need to continue to give him all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. As so we say, we now stop saying. So, all right, may I cut up the turkey now, so I'm not really have no more time for waste. Time to cut up this bird. You look good, man. I totally love it. One last look, and then we're going to the cutting up. Let me tell you. So this is what's left of our turkey. We just cut it up. Never showed up on the camera, you know. But we cut it up and give it some. And we have the position left. You see, sometimes because we're not really thanksgiving people like that. We give thanks. We give thanks, but we're not thanksgiving celebratory type of people. You know? We just make the use of the, the animal through so habit. And you know, we don't waste things. How it tastes, my girl? You like it? Nice. And the potatoes, basically the potatoes were just nice and soft. You know, and I put potatoes and I put apple in the in the cavity. Potatoes with um no that's potato that's all that's an apple. Mm. You can't eat, you know. Mm -hmm. I put potatoes, um carrots, um maybe have some chocho or chayote. <laughs> I put the chayote. This is the parson's nostrils. Just a parson nose, the the the, the, the tail. The little tail part that's right there, so. Yeah. And trust me, it's juicy. It is soft and nice. That might be chocho. And you see this part, you guys? Soup. When you talk about a bad pot of soup. And by the way, we just give her, give her some air. So, because. Oh, sorry. Michelle Atari. Oh, Michelle Atari? Mm -hmm. This piece is so nice, it tastes so good. Even the breast that is usually dry and tough. Oh, these are tough, don't they? Mm -hmm. Why, babe, it really tastes good. I don't understand why I used to not be inclined to eat. Because, because you know, I... where it it's not a cultural practice of ours, and then. No, I tasted it. I think that was the issue. I tasted it once and it was dry. Like most people say, it was dry. So I was of the opinion that it. Generally, it's a general dry. thing. Mm -hmm. mm. But this one is far from dry. Very moist. And normally, normally again, because we, because we is a, we are a small family, we normally just um see one more garlic there. We normally just you know either if we're gonna have dinner at somebody's house or you know stuff like that we normally just just do that you know as a matter of fact guys this this bird stayed in our freezer for for a year mm -hmm. for one year because we it didn't it work cooking one whole cool bird you know for, for just the three of us and again we normally are invited to 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 dine out on a thanksgiving if we do anything at all because yeah, we're not, I'm not a, I'm not overly foodie when it comes to certain things. You know, like today we made some, some simple, um, aki and something for breakfast and that was good enough for us. Yeah. You know, but this, this part, you, you want to put juice on the part, yeah? We talk a bit the soup part. Okay. okay. So Wait, I'm going to juice it up, I'm going to juice it up. I'm going to pour the water on it. Oh, oh you're going to pour the water. Pull everything over that you don't mess up anywhere, you know. Yeah, that's how it is. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I like it, I like it a lot. So, you know, I left no dribbling time until we eat right now. Please, um, peace. All of them, something they can go in at the soup, you know. For real? Yeah, onions? of course. Don't waste the thing, mm? save the thing. Don't waste the thing, save the thing. And my name is, my name make a mess. 
So that's what happened with our Thanksgiving turkey, guys. It it was totally utilized, yeah. Um, all for the glory of the bird. Mm hmm This is the Audible TV saying, put the turkey in, that that person's nose there in there too. So that part that will cook out and and become nice broth, you know. And the skelly and the man all of that. We not waste nothing around here. That may I try to tell you. Remember that. So, on behalf of our family, to you and yours, wherever you are, we want to say Happy, Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving to you. And, and, you and, and remember, live and laugh. Cook and even a bank gunny, 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 even a bank gun